Ash uh, does not auto snap the ledge consistently. Yes. And that's a pretty big deal, especially versus a character like Lucina with a fourth smash or even a down tilt if he wants to be a little bit less committal. Okay, I'm going to invite everybody at home to call out the Shulk main acronyms as they as as you see them happen. The only the only real Shulk mechanics I know about are Monado canceling. Right. You've got to be you've got to be lurking deeply deep in the Shulk Discord to know everything about this character. Yes, so much tech and True Four definitely pulls it out consistently. Especially on stage like Town and City, where he can use the Monado Purge to get a 50 50 uh, in Jump Monado out of a grab, which is a big, big that, deal. That is a big deal. And Jump Monado being. Not, is, uh, Jump Monado is going to be a double edged sword, however, causing him to take more knockback when hit. Exactly, well. yep, it does make him a little bit lighter. Oh. However, so far, Blessing Pluptart really abusing uh, Lucina's. Oh, there yeah, is the offstage he's, game. I does he have a double jump? Yeah, there he is. I didn't, and he I didn't did out of the ledge. So that you need to have some real real precise spacing to get that out. He needs exactly. to watch his roll on that platform right there. Plastic Pops are always ready for those. Somehow managing to fade away from oh, that jab. Oh, tagged fade with away. Smash. And Pop-Tart really showing that I shouldn't have been excited for this match whatsoever. He is running a train on True 4 right now. And what I really see uh, Plastic Pop-Tart abusing here is Lucina, Lucina's speed. Which uh, is, I mean, Shulk does have speed medallos, but in general, he's not a very fast gentleman. Uh, True Force seems to be taking stage control right now, though. Yeah, and that is going to be a big deal because when, when Marcina is cornered, she doesn't get to use that speed to fade away very well whatsoever, right? No room to work with, and that's a big, a big deal for True Force. Already getting a few good hits in, and Plastic Poptard is almost in kill percent already. I do want to see True 4 take the initiative in the spacing. And what I mean by that is at the moment, it seems to be Plastic Pop Tart moving first, getting into the range he wants to be in first, so that his yep. faster buttons are going to be the ones that take precedent in the, in the neutral right there now. There it is, Smash Monado. True 4 looking to end this game soon. And Plastic Pop Tart playing the corner so patiently, Fox trying forward and only then rolling in, not jumping either, just playing very, very patiently. And nothing that True 4 can capitalize on there considering Plastic Pop-Tart's composure and Plastic Pop-Tart pushing him offstage so well. Look at that. Yeah. This is not a good time to be true for right now. I'm surprised Plastic Pop-Tart didn't turn that around. And he's in shield. Monado He's just going to make it back. Great spacing by true four. And there it is, the run of four there. And that's exactly what I was talking about. That offstage gameplay by Plastic Pop-Tart is going to be such a key element to this set. Yeah, and it, to defend against that, true four is really going to has no choice but to save his jump. When when go when off stage, save yep. his jump, maybe mixing it up slightly with an early recovery. How an early higher recovery that is. However, if you get caught low by without a jump by one of Plastic Pop Tart's buttons, you have probably lost that stock. Unless yep. he is already in jump monado. Jump and Monado boosting the uh, boosting the effectiveness of that up B. Exactly. It does give a little bit of extra range and that can often come in extremely clutch. That's, uh, but I've already stated what I what I want to what I want to see True Four do to improve the way this matchup's going for him. Plastic Pop Tart, however, this guy's been dominant so far. His gameplay has been working out. He's just retreating, and as soon as he runs back in, he's already in a position to anti-approach True Four. So True Four has been relatively one-dimensional with his movements. I feel, and that is going to be a big deficit uh, when playing against Mar Marcina because Marcina can get into his into her burst range. And then throw it up back at that forward air before Shulk can throw his aerial. Because Shulk has to commit way harder to his jump. It's either a rising aerial and he has to land after, or a landing aerial and he has to have his uh, Monada leg cancel ready to go. And that really limits what he does with his jumps. On the other hand, Plastic Pop Tart has way more options uh, in terms of jump patterns. He can do rising aerials, landing aerials, he has a nair to get two hits out, all that kind of stuff. And we see True 4. Are you switching up his game plan? A lot more empty jumps, a lot more baiting pop Tart in. You see that? That back air utilizing that superior range. But as soon as he turns his back around and goes for those, those forward airs, Plastic pop Tart is there to punish. Corner, really corner situation. Really good anti air from pop Tart for a, sec a second ago there. Takes back stage control. Neutral trade didn't really benefit anybody. But you can see they're just feeling out the neutral with each other at the moment. A lot more baiting by True Force still. Look at those defensive movements. Look at that dashing back and immediately going for a jump backer. And a backer has been doing wonders for him so far. He's already looking a lot healthier than we saw him be last game. 
And another thing, it, another thing, True Force, True Four needs to be. I keep calling him True Force. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds cool. Um, True Four needs to be careful of. It's the moment he's taken one or two buttons on his shield, he can't really rely on that as an option that won't get him killed anymore because that, uh, that shield breaker is always at the ready when you're playing against these Marcy yep. in the mains. Really well spaced there from Classic Pop Tart, drifting back. Oh, and this he is important. He really needs to get back. Good ledge snapping. However, the immediate trump by Classic Pop Tart, great mix up. We haven't seen that all set. Yes. And now he's created the uh, now he's created a tiny bit of conditioning there in this matchup because now True Four is may expect it again and try buffering roll. Exactly. And, and then Classic Pop Tart could be ready with let's say an up smash or a hard read F smash as well. All kinds of options he'll have now that this sort of mind game has been set up. That said, True 4 has not landed a hit on this new stock yet. And there it is. Going to let a little bit of momentum going here. And wow, just goes all the way out there. But is it enough to get the... It's not enough to get the kill. Plastic Pop-Tart lives to see another day. Immediately reverses that situation. And nice space by True 4 right there on the up B with the jump on Nado. As you mentioned, that does give him a little bit of extra range to work with. I think he was looking for the stage spike there, didn't quite get it. But now True Force stuck in shield at the ledge, manages to get out, get back to center stage. Classic Pop Tart immediately resumes the pressure, however. Ooh, and out spaced by the forward smash on the landing. Classic Pop Tart, I do not think he dropped a single stock that set. No, it was extremely dominant. Extremely dominant. Superior spacing, superior aerial, aerial, aerial planning from Plastic Pop Tart. Great as well. movement. Yes. Yeah.